You will never have what you cannot embody. Okay. You can't have what you can't embody. And what do I mean by that? Let's just say you want to be more abundant. You won't have that if you don't become more abundantly mentally. You won't have it if you don't become more abundant in your heart. You won't have it if you don't become more abundant in your body. You have to become, become the life you want to experience. This is what it means by personal transformation. It is your ability to personally transform. Brother, if you can't transform yourself, how are you think you're going to ever live a life that's different than the one that you're living right now? You have to change yourself in order for your life to change. Why? Because you are life itself. You are life. You are life. You are life having a life experience. And until you understand that, very little will change for the better. You have to understand that you are powerful. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not saying that to make your ego swell. I'm saying that because you are life itself. You are literally life. Think about you. I want you to think about yourself before you got a name. Before you started believing in the things that you believe in. Before you got the education you got. Before you got the job that you got. The house, the wife, the spouse. Whatever it is. Before you got all of those things. I want you to think about the real you. You know you was a tiny little sperm cell at one point, don't you? What is that? That's life. That's life. You are life itself. You just got so blinded by this role that you're playing in society that you don't even think you're that powerful anymore. No, you are life itself. And everything that you are right now is a program. And the good thing about that is that you can give yourself another program if you don't like the results that the current program is producing for you. That's the phenomenal part about it. You can literally say, you know what? I don't want to live like this anymore. I prefer to live like this right here now, and I'm going to change myself. That's what I did. And not only is that what I did, it's what I do on a consistent basis. I'm always transforming myself. I'm always observing myself. I'm always asking myself, how could I done that, have done that better? How could I change my perspective about the way that I'm looking at this? What can I learn from this? How do I choose to show up today? What do I need to let go of from the past in order to embrace my abundant present? Not the abundant future, the abundant present. Because all futures end up becoming present. And the only thing we got is this moment right now. The only thing we got is this moment right now. Here, that's all we got. That's all you got. All you got is what you have right now. That's all you got, baby. So if you don't change anything about yourself starting now, the chances of anything looking different in your life today is very, very Slam. Very slam. Now, I don't want to sound like a motivational speaker. Yes, I get very passionate about this subject. But this is about personal transformation, going inside of yourself, turning all of your senses inward. Because inside of me determines the world I see. I want you to say that with me. Inside of me <laughs> determines the world I see. And in order to see a better world outside of me, 
I have to learn how to cultivate a new world inside of me. That is big dog status. That's when you start understanding that you have power. When you start turning your attention inward, man, that's when you start realizing like you're, you're really, really powerful. You see, everybody's talking about the matrix. Everybody's saying, oh, the matrix this and the matrix that, the matrix this and the matrix that. Everybody's talking about the matrix, but the matrix is everything in the external world. And most people believe that the external world is the real world. The world that, because they can knock on it, they think it's the real world. And because they think it's the real world, most people try to find their power outside of themselves in the real world. But the real, real world is the world inside of you, the world of intellect, the world of perception, the world of emotion, the world of imagination. That is the real world. When you start turning your attention inward, ooh, woo, they better get out of your way. They better move out the way. Because you're about to change the game. You're about to change things. You are literally about to go from where you are to where you want to be. They better move out of your way. I learned how to be very still inside of myself. Listen, I got to a state of being a few years ago where I learned how to be so comfortable inside of myself that nothing could disturb me. Even in the face of adversity, nothing could disturb what I built inside of me. But it, it fluctuates. I, like you, can also get hypnotized by the external world. But I have to remind myself, I have to pull myself back inside of myself and remind myself that the power is inside of me. And that's my message to you. I'm here to let you know that the power is inside of you. You are the power. You are the mind master. There's nothing outside of you that can stop you when you get clear about who you decide to be inside of yourself. And that's real power. Because when you make up your mind internally, the world outside of you don't know what you've decided to do internally, and now you're moving like a wizard. Now you're moving like someone that believes they have authority over their own existence. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather live knowing I have authority over my own existence than to live as if I'm a peasant to somebody else's authority. This is about you. This journey is about you. This journey is about you saying, this is how I feel. This is how I want to live. This is how I choose to show up. Hold up. This is how I'm choosing to approach this today. Yeah, big dog. You are powerful. But you got to make up your mind to not let the external world cause you to be blind. Master yourself.